there are a lot of places that I've been involved, so I'm going to give an example of two. One of them is going to be behind the scenes and one in the front end that students get to see. So behind the scenes, I'm part of a number of committees and councils, and one of them is College Council. College Council is this huge meeting with a number of college executives, faculty, chairs, deans, and any new changes to programs or any new programs that are introduced at Centennial have to be approved by this council. And my role as a student representative is to make sure that nothing gets approved until we think about how it's going to be impacting students and what the student perspective is on this matter. And an example for the front end, uh, I'm an active volunteer with the Experience Centennial team. So students might have seen me at orientation or most recently presenting at the leadership conference. What do you feel makes you qualified for this position? Before I became a board member at CCSAI, I was an employee in two different departments at Centennial and all of that while being a full-time student that gave me a perspective on how the college works behind the scenes and also understanding the policies at CCSAI. In addition to that before I came to Centennial I was a high school teacher, teacher in Ontario and now I'm studying human resources so I'm at the perfect intersection between um, education and policy and that's where my passions are. What will be your top priority if you are elected? So CCSAI is great at advocating for students at the college level, but there's a lot more that we can do and we have a lot of potential. And students are great at advocating for themselves, but there's a lot more that they can do when they're involved with CCSAI. So I want CCSAI more involved outside the college and I want students more involved inside the college. Hima? What is a problem you have seen or heard about students experiencing and would like to address in this role? So students are a lot more than just students who worry about their studies. They might be students who are away from family navigating a new environment for the first time. They might be students who have families and they're parenting. Or they might be, uh, they might be renting and they're tenants and have, house, have landlords. They might be employees or contract workers. They might be people with disability looking for supports. And as a student goes through their life wearing all of these different hats, um, there are so many different places where they might not know what their rights are and might not be advocating for them. I want to make sure that students are aware of all of their rights and have the supports they need to advocate for themselves in all of the roles that they play. What is your vision for the CCSAI and how do you hope to grow the organization? So, Centennial College was the first college in Ontario and CCSAI was the first student association. Um, and CCSAI is great at advocating for students to Centennial College, but there's a lot more we can do in Ontario. Things like housing, transportation, health, uh, jobs, all of those things impact students. But currently, we don't have a very strong voice in the province. So what can we do? Well, the first thing, we can make sure that our board is educated um, and informed about government policies and government structures. Second, we don't have a formal alliance with other colleges, college associations in Ontario. So we need to build those formal partnerships. And third, we need to have more partnerships with the government and with ministers and MPPs in Ontario so we can advocate directly to them. How can we improve the communication and connection between the CCSEI and students? I have three ways we can do that. So the first one, to build partnerships with different departments at the college. Last year, I proposed that the CCSAI board has their own spot on the orientation schedule with the Experience Centennial team. And this semester, we got to do that. And that ended up being one of our most successful engagement sessions with students. So building more partnerships with different departments at the college. Two, meeting students where they are. There are lots of students on Instagram, but where are all the students? In classes. So we need to go to their classes more often and have conversations with them there. So make partnerships with chairs and professors so we can have conversations. And the last one, to listen and to be relevant. To listen to students and let them talk about the things that are actually important to them. So those are different ways that we can connect with our students and improve our communication.